All right guys, welcome back. So in the last couple of videos, we're talking about using transitions with our movies in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I wanna talk about cross dissolving with audio. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So say we have two clips right here and we want the audio, we want this audio to fade out while this audio fades in. So it's not just so abruptly when the clips end. So let's hear it out. Even though this is the same song, let me pull my microphone closer and let's give it a go. Oh. Okay, imagine this is two com completely different songs. Uh, it's not gonna make a difference, the show must go on. Here's what we're gonna do. Now, what you're not gonna wanna do is detach the audio. Do not detach the audio. That way, if you detach it and you play around with it and you start dragging your audio back and forth and extending it, it's gonna get away from your video and the timing's gonna be off and there's just gonna be a lot more work and uh, extra work you're gonna have to do. Here's what you're gonna wanna do. Grab two clips. So I'm gonna click on one clip and then I'm gonna shift click on another clip to select two. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go to expand audio video, just like that. So now I've got two clips. Now if I automatically grab one clip and move it to the right, the other clip is going to drop down below just like that. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. And I'm gonna pull my bottom clip down the same duration to the left of where we broke the clip up. So clip ends right there. I've got a little bit over here. I've got a little bit to the left over here. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna see this little ball in here. And we already talked about fading out audio in a couple videos ago. Actually, that was a while ago. Um, so it's kind of the same gist. We're gonna fade this one in and we're gonna fade this one out. Now the faster you want it to fade out, the closer you do it to the ending point. The longer, or the slower you want it to fade out, the further you pulled away from the ending point. So I'll pull this one to there, and I'll pull this one to here, just like that. Okay, well, that's how we do it. I have a very bad example of these two videos. I apologize, but I'm not gonna redo this video. If you wanna get more even OCD about it, go ahead and do control click on this little dot right here, and it has options of linear, S-curve, uh, plus three decibels or minus three decibels, all depending on how smooth, um, fast and slow you want to fade in or fade out a clip. And when you're done, um, you can either leave it like that or you can collapse audio and video. Everything is still done there. It's collapsed a little bit. Let's go ahead and collapse this as well. And you just can't see it. You kind of have the shadow in there of it. If this is a lot harder for you to distinguish if you've already worked on this or not, I would just keep this open. It's your call. Uh, but for the sake of the tutorial, I think I need to actually have a an actual song that comes in here. So I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I'm just gonna pull in music. So I've got coffee stains and let's go ahead and shift Z to minimize that. We'll pull it up to about here. And I've got some Taylor Swift, I believe. Yep, shake it off. That was the tutorial we used on how to kind of rig YouTube system and change the song up a little bit so we can still monetize it on YouTube. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the two exact same things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do expand audio video, and I'm gonna do this one as well, expand audio video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this and I'm gonna bring it to the left that's gonna be so long though. This song's like three minutes each. And let's drag, let's drag this a little bit too. Actually, I can't, because that's the start of the song. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I botched this whole tutorial video, but I've got a, um, something to do I gotta leave right now, so I'm gonna let it run out. If you guys have any questions, I'll get back to you in the comment section below. Um, but that's kind of the gist. That's how I transition audio, whether it's background music or um, just two video clips that you want to Fade in and fade out. Something like that. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry, I'm kind of running on fumes today. Have a good one and I'll make up for it in the next couple videos.